Hello and welcome to the second video of Coding Decoding Fundamentals. So this is part B of the video. In part A, we looked at Coding Decoding from a letter series, which is from alphabets. It's getting changed to another alphabet. In this video, we look at where an alphabet changes to, let's say, a number or to a symbol as well. So let's get started. We talked about EJOT, right? So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25 right so like that and we need to know these numbers so what happens in the numbers right so for example if let's say if somebody is saying if a b c d let's say becomes um, 40 what do you think d e f would become so now first step is a b c d how is this becoming 40 so the place value of this is 1 the place value of this is 2 the place value of this is 3 the place value of this is 4 now how can this become 40 so let's add up the whole thing 4 plus 3 7 plus so this can either become if you add it's becoming 10 if you multiply 4 3 12 into 2 24 if you multiply also it's becoming 24 okay let's say they are giving you another example they are saying also bcd is becoming 27 so another thing so here b place value is 2 this place value is 3 and this place value is 4 again 4 into 3 12 into 2 24 24 now is becoming 27 that means something is at play now if this addition is all becoming 10 but if you see this is 40 that means there's a multiple of 4 if you add all these things up 4 plus 3 7 plus 2 9 but this is becoming 27 that is there's a multiple of 3 so what's happening is that you are adding up the place values and multiplying into the number of alphabets you have so here how many alphabets you had four here how many you had three so here the addition is nine into three is 27 so similar logic you can apply here that means here the place value is four this is five this is six so six plus four ten plus five fifteen into three so this will actually become 45 so this is just one way to do it right there could be multiple other ways to do it also but normally let's say if i say abc is 6 and they're saying what is df can you find that out now if you notice here in this question you actually cannot so they would not give you one so for example this is one this is two this is three now if you add all this becoming six but if you multiply also it's becoming six no three into two six into one six so if through two things you are getting six they have to give another example to say okay this is the logic otherwise they cannot give because if i say four into six is 24 four plus six is ten so you can get two answers so typically they won't do that but ultimately what happens is that they look at place value and in the place value they could move one up one minus or they could uh, multiply the number of places right or they can say a b c is actually 600 and they are saying and de is actually 900 so what they are doing they are just adding a plus b plus 6 let's say 6 right and then they are adding into 6 let's say 100 so if they ask you what will be let's say uh, tu so what will it be now t is how much 20 21 so 20 plus 21 that means this is 41 so it would be 4100 like that right so 100 they just multiplied randomly to every number so it could be this type sometimes what they also do is they will give you some symbols they are saying abc is actually dollar percentage and question mark and they will say and we know that a d f is actually let's say percentage star and a triangle so the question would be what do you think would be what is the value of a so can we not find that out i know that in these two things the only common thing is this percentage and here the only thing is here also common a a and here also common this that means a is actually percentage so things like that right so this is all about these numbers and uh, 
symbols if you practice more so let's practice six questions three on numbers and three on symbols to uh, become good at this 20 is written as something so that means how many alphabets are there there are six alphabets and it's coding to six alphabets and 11 is also coded as something that means for each alphabet we are replacing it by a number either there could be some logic or it could be just that same thing so what we have to say we have to say 12 is written in that code how Okay, let's see if things are remaining same. So E stands for how much? E is at the third place value. That means E, how are they converting E? 3. But what about here? Are they converting E3? Yes. Are they converting E3? Yes. Are they converting E3? Yes. That means that's how it's moving. So if E is 3, it would be under this. That's the logic. Now, if we want to calculate 12, which is what is asked, this is very easy 12 so TWE that means all these three so 8 6 3 would be here and then TWE LVE so LVE so L is 2 right from this we can see and VE VE would be 0 3 so 8 6 3 2 0 3 8 6 3 2 0 3 so first option so all we did is we said okay what is getting replaced by what there are some things common to prove saying that okay E stands for this because they could be have been interchanged but they did not interchange it that means TWE we already have all these alphabets and there's a uh, code corresponding to that that's written so we just have to pick it from there and go ahead next question says if machine is coded as this 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 okay so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. So for each corresponding, they are changing it, right? And see for A, it's becoming 7, C, it is increasing by 2 plus, and M, it is high. That means I don't think they're doing any reversal also. It seems to be in line and M and N, N is also plus 1 and that's how it's becoming. So that means A is, they're starting from 7th and then similarly, they're increasing. So actually is M's place value is actually how much, see? We know E J O T Y K L M N O M N O. That means this is 13. So this 13 is actually becoming how much? 19. A is how much? 1. It is becoming how much? 7. That means 13 is becoming 19 and 1 is big. That means they are adding 6 in all the place values, right? So that is exactly what we have to do. So D is 4, 1, K L M N O M N O. So that means O is 14 n is 14 sorry right uh, 4 comma 1 comma 14 and then uh, okay 4 1 14 that means now if you had 6 so this would be 10 plus uh, 7 14 plus 6 20 10 7 20 now is there any 10 7 20 no only option is this so we need not check for others we can just mark this here okay so that means place value if we know the place value Right, we just have to add a certain number constantly in every other alphabet and we could have arrived at a number. Okay, let's look at the last question on this number series. Canada is written as 18. Okay, now how could you possibly arrive at a number like this from this? And then they are saying coding, India would be coded as what? So you have to come to a number basis on these alphabets. Now see what are the things that can happen? There could be a multiplication of all the place values. So, for example, we know the place value of Canada. Okay, let me just space it and write it here like that. Place value of Canada, C is 3. This is 1. M, N, N, O. So, that means this is 14. A is 1 again. D is 4. This is 1. So, either there could be a multiplication of all these things, but that would be a much bigger number. But he is saying 18. So, okay. Or there could be addition. Okay, let's add them up. So the addition, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 14, 18, 18 plus 6, that means 24, right? But this is not 24, this is becoming 18. So how are you reaching from 24 to 18? Is that he is reducing 6. So is 6 could be corresponding to what? 6 could be corresponding to the number of alphabets. Here there are 6 alphabets, that means 24 minus 6. That means what will happen is that if there is a number, let's say A, B, the logic would be 1 plus 2 because place value of 1 is A is 1, B is 2 and minus the number of alphabets which is 2. So it would be actually be 1. So here also we will do the same thing for India. So for India, I is at what place? I, J, I, J. So I is at 9, right? 
n o so n is at 14 place right and then d is at 4 place right i is at again 9 place right a is at 1 place that means you add and then minus the number of alphabets meaning minus 5 so 14 okay this 9 plus 1 become 10 this is 18 right 10 and 18 is 28 28 plus 10 38 minus 1 37 37 but is 37 the answer no we have to also subtract minus the number of letters 1 2 3 4 5 minus 5 which is 32 so actually this is the answer so be careful don't mark option like this the moment you get 37 so there was the logic so ultimately what could happen in these things right they could add all these things up and then say say add the number of letters let's say six letters they could say minus uh, the number of letters minus six in this case right these are the possibilities that they can do right or they could multiply and then divide by certain number right so all these things only right so the more you practice these questions the more familiar and you know faster you will get okay let's do just one last type on this coding decoding and these are simple questions so sometimes they may say this is written as something else so there are see symbols they are replacing by right so you have to just check corresponding symbol not necessarily uh, exactly but okay so let's say four alphabets and it's moving to four of these symbols nac there is nothing common otherwise we could have checked for common okay nac is coded as this okay so they're saying how candles is coded in the same way so candles c a n okay here is n a c that means it has to have percentage question mark and star can and this is opposite right so star question mark percentage star question mark percentage star question mark percentage okay so i already got this right yeah this is not there right so that means this is the only option right okay let's check for dles also dles so dles so d is what d is okay this hash sign okay fine and then of course right de right les les is at the rate dollar and at the m percent right so this is the answer because all of these are uh, different alphabets you could have just checked that okay these four should be there right so these four were available in this series so hence the answer this is again very easy okay sometimes these questions also come like you know they will say in a certain code delhi is capital is written as 759 capital or beautiful is written as this not in the same order necessarily that means it doesn't mean that delhi is 7 and is is 5 and capital is 9 and similarly capital are beautiful they are coding this as something and then they are saying one two more and they're saying what is the code for beautiful now this is again with common sense right it's like how you have equations right a plus b plus c is this and another equation is also says a plus b plus 2c is this now tell me what is this right so like that so here if you see what is the code for beautiful okay now now what is common here in the capital capital right okay so where is beautiful delhi is beautiful here okay okay so this is very simple so if delhi is capital and capital are beautiful that means only in these two sentences the only thing common is what the only thing common is capital and in the numbers also the only thing common is 9 that means i know that capital would be 9 right so if he says delhi is beautiful right so that means delhi is the answer for delhi is would be 7 is to 5 right 7 or 5 delhi is right either is is 5 or 7 this thing so what is the only thing remaining is 6 that means beautiful would be 6 right so hope you get this so what we did is we just looked at this line and said delhi is capital between these three words and these three words the only common thing is capital so you calculated the code for capital once you got the code for capital you said in the next one he says delhi is uh, uh, yeah so capital you can say capital is actually how much it is 9 so if it is 9 that means 7 and 5 is pending for delhi is right and delhi is a 7 or 5 so here he is asking delhi is. so there would be definitely 7 5 and one more thing beautiful and that is what we have to find out so 7 5 is delhi is only remaining is 6 which is your answer okay let's do the next one which of the following says capital is beautiful so capital we already know is 9 right is we know is uh, 
seven or five, right? Is we know beautiful is six, right? Okay, six. Uh, Patna also capital. So Patna also capital. So from this, what can we say? Can we say is no? We cannot calculate is from here also. That means it could be nine, six, and probably something more. Now whether it's five or seven, we don't know, right? So nine, six, seven, or nine, six, five. Uh, we are sort of we don't know so i think it would be uh, cannot be determined because we don't know how we will calculate the code for is it could be 7 or 5 unless there is a statement which sort of gives you the answer okay so we did around 10 questions and the idea was to introduce you to 10 different type of questions you know so that you don't find it difficult and you start getting a hang of these things i think coding decoding if you've gone through these variety of questions and have practiced 50, 100 questions, you will be so comfortable that you can just point it out in 10 seconds, whereas others are still figuring out as to what is the answer. So my request to you would be practice as many questions. And if let's say you come across a difficult question where you're not able to do it also, I would say leave the question. I mean, you can't spend more than a minute in these questions. If within 10, 20, 30 seconds, you're not able to figure out, move to the next question, maybe look at it again. Right. So, but anyway, thanks for watching this video and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.